someone.gov person. So. Um, so I want to talk a little bit today around software transparency um, and specifically so around talk a bill materials for software, software that transparency. And specifically um, around bill materials. Real quickly, for I'll give you some contact info. You can email me at um, any of those email addresses. Real quickly, I'll give you some contact info. You, you can, can also publicly head me on any of those email addresses here in the room. And tell me how long that. I consider myself a recovering sysadmin. Twitter or here in the room. It seems like it's okay. been about a decade. I consider myself a recovering sysadmin. On call and response. It seems like it's been about a decade since I actually I, was. Uh, I can't give all of the tenancy for anything, but uh, being a sysadmin. Uh, I'm currently serving as the executive vice president of, of the Apache Software Foundation. Uh, I'm currently I'm serving as the executive vice president, president, president of the Apache Software Foundation. Um, vice president and of I've just finished the five years. Uh, I've been on the board of the ASF. The, I've been on the board of the door. Vice president of infrastructure for a couple of years. Uh, I've been on the board of the ASF. In terms of employment, I run the open source office at BlackBerry. Uh, today, in terms of employment, I run the open source office at BlackBerry and, and working on uh, as well as issues like license compliance and security posture, um, uh, as well as figuring so out the open source So, this is really a, a war about um, um, perpetual conflict. So, uh, this is really a war about conflict, whether it's um, devs being perpetual at war with ops, ops uh, we've always war been at war, users, whether it's devs uh, being at war with ops, this has been ops something that with their users, has been basically conditioned uh, into us. Uh, this the has ops been folks that always want to have been control, they want to know what's going us. on on the machines that they're uh, responsible for. The ops for. folks always and want to have control, to a lesser they degree, want to know what's going on, on the machines that they're responsible for. Uh, but there's for. always some conflict. And to a lesser degree, people so may or may not care. I want to start with a brief history uh, of time. there's always some conflict. And tell you that so when we started out, start with a brief history of time. maybe even before uh, and we tell you that you know, when we right. started out, and you had to make some application to the Vax priests, and you had to use their machine, and it was literally their machine. They to, were uh, to the before. Vax priests, probably to only use one. their machine, and uh, it was literally their and machine. They, were they had really for strict it. control it was over what one. was going to be run on it, uh, how it was going to be run, and when it was going to be run. They had really strict control over what was going to be run on it, how it was going to be run, were relatively happy if you were one of the Vax priests. And things were not very happy. Things anymore. were relatively happy if you were uh, one of the Vax priests. This changed. Things were not very happy. It became more of a commodity. We had more computers. Uh, we had many computers. This changed. Uh, they spread became out. Became more of a commodity. Uh, anybody we recognize had more the logo? Computers. We had many computers. Uh, they spread yeah, out. Uh, anybody recognize the logo? Uh, this is a bastard operator from hell. Uh, the logo from the register. Uh, when they were. Uh, this is a bastard operator from hell. Uh, the logo from the register. Uh, they were, um, ops kind of became. They, were, uh, uh, it. they had a lot of control. Uh, they could make your life painful. Became, but uh, it also. They had a lot of control. Realized they that could it make your life painful. Uh, some magical but tool in Facebook. It also. Uh, business people actually realized that happen. it wasn't. And so uh, work had to get done. But and then you, know, you could make someone's life. And so work had to get done. Still a good degree but of control. You, know, you could make someone's this life is on the ops side, painful. Right? So you had what's on the dev side of this. Control. And so this the reality is, is that uh, what's on the dev side of used this? to control how and you receive software. The reality is, is that uh, if you were running a Linux distribution and you had your software in the distribution uh, packet, if you were running a Linux distribution and you had your software that was in the best way to get distributions package software out into the real world. That was that's what allowed that was the best things way like to get uh, the Apache web server out into the real to get world. so that's much what allowed web server things market like, share. Uh, the Apache early web on. server to get so it's much what allowed of my web server market share to become one of the dominant databases in open source. It's what allowed MySQL to become that, one of the dominant uh, fact databases that it was in all open source. Packaged, you um, could Quote unquote, trust the that, distribution. Uh, the fact that it was all to get the software. You can, quote unquote, trust the distribution. Now, the sysadmins, they really the liked this model because they trusted the people now, who were providing them with the software. The sysadmins, they really they liked, liked this model that because they trusted the people who were providing them with software. And they also were able to translate some of their control issues. And they liked back that. Those distributions. And they also were able so if you to want to pack the software for control issues, issues today, Back up to Fedora has a "Thou shalt not so run libraries" software, software today. So if you want to install, Fedora has a "Thou shalt not WordPress run libraries" software. WordPress is not just a single package. package. So if you want to install In fact, WordPress, WordPress is probably WordPress is not just a single because package. 
WordPress is written in PHP. In fact, PHP, so WordPress is PHP. probably hundreds of packages. Then you need all of the libraries for WordPress. WordPress is written in PHP. And then so WordPress PHP. has a number of plugins. Then you need all of the libraries for Those are all going to be separate. And then WordPress has a and number so of plugins that they're going to install. Those are all going to be separate libraries. And so we have this huge dependency tree where DNF install WordPress is actually going to install scores of packages WordPress that they themselves have. Is actually going to install uh, Debian has a similar policy to this. They won't allow you to have bundled libraries either. And a uh, lot of Debian has a similar policy to this. Fact, they won't allow you to have bundled libraries either. Devs have been complaining for about a decade that this is too strict. The world is moving too fast, and we need to be able to bundle the world is libraries. The sysadmins and the distribution say, no, we want to be able to run RPS and QA and find out all of the packages that are in the system. I want to be able to run and query against RPM for a file and see where that came from. I want to be able to have all of that information available in a machine readable for a file and see where that came from. We have all of that information available in a machine readable format. We can putting software that the machine doesn't know about. The argument is if there's a security vulnerability, how would the you argument know? is, if you bundle if there's a SSL security vulnerability into a package, uh, how would you know? And I if you bundle check with those an SSL version with RPM and it says it's fine. Package, uh, and I well, check that with an SSL fine. version with RPM, RPM and it says it's fine. Uh, that bundle uh, well, it has another copy of really the package that may be vulnerable from that. You have. Uh, uh, that bundle that has another so copy. No bundled libraries became the mantra for uh, packaging software. So, no bundled libraries became the mantra for packaging software. And that frustrated a lot of folks. Um, it frustrated folks who wanted software that wasn't and that they frustrated a lot of repos folks. for one reason or another. It frustrated, it frustrated folks who wanted software that wasn't available for the repos for one reason or another. It frustrated and developers who wanted Python 3 rather than Python 2. And distributions took years to solve that problem. And the language specific tools are for the developers. Solve that, solve that problem, problem by creating their own the language specific tools or that are language specific. So that we have Maven Central, we have CPAN for Perl, PyPy for Python, NuGet for Windows. So we have Maven Central, we have CPAN for Perl, PyPy for Python, and there's NuGet scores for of others. Uh, NPM uh, uh, for Node, and, and, there's and scores of others. Uh, every library NPM seems to have their own package repository. Uh, for Node so now, Every library has their own package repository. And you use so PyPy, now, and you say you do PyPy, PyPy install whatever PyPy library. And you library. use PyPy. And, and you magically say, install on your system. PyPy install the package whatever manager. PyPy library. PyPy. The and PyPy package manager. And magically install on your system. That is actually on the, the system. Package manager. You PyPy. query with RPM PyPy the system tools. And knows that that is actually that's on the system. system. Uh, you so with RPM we're starting to see that. A little bit of division between what the devs uh, so want to accomplish we're starting to see that and what the sysadmin want to accomplish. And, and what the what the devs want to accomplish and what the sysadmins or maybe to accomplish. depending upon your perspective. Uh, we moved from a model where we didn't reuse any code at all. We moved from a model where we didn't reuse any code at all. Uh, you might reuse uh, snippets of it. All code used to be bespoke uh, code. Really uh, you might reuse uh, snippets of it, but I guess in the past uh, decade, really we have seen that change uh, dramatically. I guess and to the point decade, now that if you go look at most seen that change dramatically. commercial software and released to in the, the past now that if you go years, look at most that software is no longer primarily written by the software of the years. Uh, that software is no longer primarily written by the software is of is actually a source code. And people uh, are doing on top of that. I hear numbers from code, the software industry that says on top of 80 percent is I hear that open source space. From the software they're industry building on top of that. They're standing on the shoulders. Is that open source space? Innovate, but there's no point in being that that 80 percent. That's all of the to innovate. innovate. But so we've no essentially gotten to the point where, as a as we've essentially gotten to the point where we're not really right. Tons of unique code. As an industry, and that we're, not, this we're not really writing, we're writing lots of interesting, of innovative code. And but we're building all of that on top of things that are around. Interesting, innovative code. 
but we're building we're all also that. seeing much Our faster velocity and, and we're seeing that velocity in terms of the end application as well as the software and library and we're seeing that velocity uh, so we're seeing in terms of the end uh, application as well as the software library that outstrips a distribution uh, so we're seeing uh, people move and at a pace that six month life cycle that you would have out of a Ubuntu release and or a Fedora release. And six month life cycle that you would have out of a Ubuntu release uh, and or so a Fedora release. Building so much faster slow. is uh, dramatically, so uh, building so dramatically much shifting that conversation because we, we're no longer talking about, hey, I'm going to keep a steady API for two years. We're no years. longer talking about, well, hey, I'm going to keep a steady API for two If you're not going to make it yourself, well, the two years software that software projects are arrived and if you're not going to maintain it yourself, we're also seeing a huge increase in the, we're also seeing software. a huge in the number of dependencies in software. So, uh, in I look at a number of commercial software releases so, and use tools uh, like Blackboard. I look at a number of commercial software releases and use tools and like And anyone want to guess what the some other tools um, from what the high watermark and is? And anyone want to guess what the uh, in a single software what the package? high watermark is in terms of number of dependencies in a single software package? Yes, Node, where we have to have a library for addition and subtraction instead of using the built-in operator. Yes, Node, where um, we have to have a library for addition and subtraction. So, insanely high. Uh, if you're looking at older school Java stuff, um, thousand dependencies so per product. So, insanely high. Uh, if, if you're looking at older school Java stuff, some of the newer web application product, stuff with Node, when you start looking that number at skyrockets some of the crazy. newer web um, application easy five stuff figures with Node, in some of these that number skyrockets crazy. Um, easy five figures. That's also getting to the point where nobody can get you dealt with it. Right? You cannot remember. That's also getting to the point where nobody in your supply chain. Right? You cannot uh, remember. I can barely keep up with five or ten, in your and that's the case for most folks. Uh, They're not I can barely keep up with five or ten. They're interested and that's in the case function for most calls. Folks. They're not going to be able to keep up with on, it. Not in They're the interested in software. making function so, calls. And so moving on, not in. So the I call this the trouble of the start of this. this so uh, division. So I call this the trouble of the start of this really fast. This, they want to break uh, things. Division. We they don't care about the outages. Really you have ops, it, traditional ops, that want to keep things very they stable, don't care about the same version. You have Once they've got a known good situation, they don't want things very stable, stay on the same version. We have an entire Once change management process that we want people to go through. If we if we have an entire change management process, and then we have DevOps that we want people to go through all the time, both on the Dev and the Ops side. And then we have DevOps small. And all the time. constantly be making them, but also the make them easily reversible. Make them small, and, uh, and so all three of those camps are kind of pulling at each other in different ways. Uh, and so, so the reality that we end up with kind of is we end up with ways. a number of applications that. So the reality that we end up with is we end up with a number of applications that even for the people who write. Them, I've seen a number of places. I, I'm on a, an open source working group at. Um, I've seen a number of places. I'm, I'm on a, an open source working group, and the um, Casey folks literally have Casey. teams who write applications, and the Casey folks literally have teams who uh, write because applications because the software is so large uh, in terms of that dependency, uh, and they're really the only focused on writing that 10 or 15 percent uh, of the innovative code on top of it, and they're really only focused on writing that 10 or 15 percent. So they don't know. Of innovative code. Open SSL in there. I've seen so they don't uh, know examples where open SSL, open SSL is SSL present there. for I've seen um, uh, examples five or where six open SSL is a single present for code, a, a single um, application that ships. So not only do we have open SSL that's separate from the open SSL that ships with so not only do we have open the operating SSL system, that's separate from five the copies of it inside open SSL, SSL that ships with uh, the operating system. We've got five copies that, of it. Inside that's causing the authors to lose visibility into what they have, uh, which means that, they don't know. That's causing the they authors know they can't to lose visibility into what they have. Issues. And if they're not watching for security issues, and if they don't know, they can't be watching for security issues. And if they're not watching for security issues, we kind of have around this technical the depth that ship. It's constantly growing. So uh, that leaves us in a situation where security is at best obfuscated. So that leaves us in a situation where security is at best obfuscated. We don't see what's going on. 
even in we have licensing compliance, when you're which talking about having is complicated, you know, a thousand even in the best of situations, when you're talking about figuring out what your license obligations you know, are from a open source perspective is gigantic. Figuring out what your license obligations are from an open source perspective is gigantic. So multiple people have the real cause for people talking about software bill of materials today. Are that the real cause for we lost that control point, or we lost the ability to say no to bundle are that dependencies. We people lost don't that control want to point, or we lost the ability to software say no libraries to that come with the distribution of the operating system. Want to have to use they want to be able to software libraries, libraries that come with the distribution of the operating system. Including potentially older, but they, they want to be able to include their own version. Including potentially that's the version that's older, uh, but they know it works with their staff. Not being able to control the environment on the ops side. That's led on the dev side. They don't, the they don't care about the environment. They don't care about the operating system, system frankly. On the dev side, they don't care that it has they, to run. They don't care about the environment. They don't care uh, about the operating system. They really system, thought frankly. that platform they don't care as a that service cloud, like Heroku, uh, they were really the utopia that, that they were searching for. Because they didn't have to worry about any of like that Heroku stuff. They were the utopia that they were searching for. Because they didn't have to worry about any of that Heroku stuff. They were the utopia that they were searching for. Because they didn't have to worry about any of that Heroku stuff. On bare metal, that's not the reality for machine. most of the world. Or maybe today, if we're really cutting edge in a container, on bare metal, and there or is an in environment a virtual there machine, that has to be or maybe if we're really cutting edge in a container, velocity has and also there is an environment there that has to be uh, the number of software releases. Velocity has also happened, increased tremendously. Uh, is, uh, is the number of software releases and then that are happening. We have ecosystem uh, developers is, that break the ecosystem. And then and we this have ecosystem been, uh, developers. This has been a problem. Break the ecosystem. Uh, and bundle this it has with been the velocity. A, this has been a problem. Python three uh, does not handle it Python two code perfectly. Yeah. And so Python you end up with people wanting to keep Python does not handle Python two code perfectly. Python three has been released. And so you end up with people wanting to keep Python two. Good around, reasons for keeping it around. Good reasons Python for getting rid of it. But you can't have both worlds. Good reasons for keeping it around. Good reasons for getting rid of it. But you can't have both worlds. So uh, and transparency, well, people are having to make particularly transparency in the software marketplace. So transparency, a little bit of particularly transparency uh, in the software marketplace has become a state. little bit of. We have um, transparency in lots of other arenas. The desired state. If you go buy a diesel engine from Caterpillar, lots of other arenas. It will come with a bill of materials. If you go buy a diesel engine from every Caterpillar today. That engine, every it bolt is on the there, what grade that steel is made out of, what size, that engine, probably the origin, on there, what grade uh, including which is made manufacturer of, what size, developed it, probably the and you origin, get that list for every uh, Including which manufacturer developed it, if you go and to, you get that list um, for every component that's on that engine. If you go engine. to uh, the if gift shop to, right behind uh, uh, if you go to, your registration, uh, and you buy the gift shop. Right look on the back, and, uh, it tells you how many calories are uh, in it. Your registration, and you buy a Coke. If you look buy on the back, it tells you how many calories product. are in it. It tells you all the uh, There's material safety if data sheets that come with it. Product, uh, particularly if you're uh, buying that material uh, safety data sheets that come with it. And uh, it tells you all the things in it. It tells you the first aid steps, etc. And, and so it tells you all the things in it. If you want to know what your food is made of, so that's no problem. You can't get away from it. If you want to know uh, it's on what the your food is made of, if that's you want to no know what chemicals are in uh, it's cleaning on the agent, that's no problem. If you want to know it's what on the chemicals are in uh, uh, MSDS, cleaning agent, go with that's it. That's no problem. You buy that it's agent, either on the label or you get a list of engine parts. If you buy that engine, talk about. Printed you get a ES parts that are a drill displacer shaft hole for a split fit, 0.065 inches, that are a drill uh, displacer 1.65 millimeter drill depth, uh, and they'll even tell you the things uh, that won't work. Like a, 50, a number 51 is too large, uh, and they'll even tell you the things uh, and that won't work. For a flywheel, right, a number 51 is too large. Uh, that list uh, actually is for a flywheel long, incidentally. Because uh, that list uh, actually is, complex. is it pages has long, or thousands of parts. Uh, because a line item for each of those has hundreds or thousands of parts. So why don't we have this with and software, and right? We're supposed to have figured out how to manufacture software, so why don't we how have to use software. software. Right? We're supposed to we had folks have like Edward Deming back in the 40s. 
We've had folks like Edward Denning talk about back how to in manage the 40s, supply chain, who, uh, how to uh, supply, improve your supply chain, how to manage your supply chain, how to improve chain, your supply chain, how to have better products, how to improve your chain, how to better products, and how to defects, we started and manufacturing quality software of your products, and producing and software. We forgot all of that. We decided we that we were unique manufacturing and software, and that software and was special. Software. We forgot, forgot all of that. We decided that, that we were unique and, and that software was special, unlike anything else we've done industry, before. Chemical and industry, manufacturing, all of these lessons. the health industry, the food industry had all the learned years ago. Chemical industry, decades ago. manufacturing, and started the health industry we forgot had all learned years ago, decades ago, and, and started doing We forgot all of that. I would argue that we had not forgotten as much as they became inconvenient because even up until the, the mid 90s, the government controlled software at NASA, at aer like aerospace, sure. was very, very strict. I mean, they had special languages that were mathematically provable. Mm -hmm. um, I think that became inconvenient enough that my profession has convinced people that, you know, they're unnecessary. Um, unnecessary yes. enough that both so, was okay with the software. And you're right. We have convinced people that it's yes. so complex. So this is magic. And you're just right. We have convinced process. people that it's and, so complex. And I don't think that this has is magic. Us very well. Just trust us. And and I don't think that has served us very well. You realize before our modern society, <laughs> indeed they were. Um, I'm not arguing that we should be as an industry burning. Uh, <laughs> indeed they were. were having our um, I'm not arguing that we should uh, be as an industry burning. But we've reached uh, a point where I even see state. government, folks, uh, particularly. Uh, but we've reached a point where. I uh, even see government intelligence, particularly who are now saying uh, in places like we're buying all of this uh, software. And we have no idea what intelligence going. community who are now saying if we're we buying all of this software, we have no idea what's in it. Into something. If we can inject if malicious the guy who's only into something, is ripping off big other wallets. Can. If the guy who's only intent is ripping off into a central wallet trading platform can or a Bitcoin or a inject code uh, into essentially uh, the trading platform house. or a Bitcoin or a uh, what can someone who is really determined uh, and exchange house into our software supply chain? What can someone and who so is really figuring out what's there, actually being able to prove what's there, seems to be a problem. And so figuring out what's there, actually being able to prove what's there, seems to be a problem for these places that used to have uh, that, really that good control on uh, and, uh, and we've also gotten to the point where uh, that uh, that seems to be there's a lot of misinformation uh, that seems to be and we've also gotten to the point where there's a lot of mistrust, even with and we've also gotten to the point where. Uh, Alan Freeman is trust at the Department with, of Commerce uh, tells a story so, from uh, Alan Freeman hospital works up in New England. Department of Commerce uh, when, uh, tells a story from, uh, from a hospital when a particular up in piece of malware came out. Uh, when and they said, um, you know, we use a lot of embedded uh, products. We need to know when a particular piece of malware came out. Uh, they said because you know, we use Unix, a lot of embedded products, Linux, we or Windows, need to know those embedded products run, because WannaCry is hitting uh, some Windows customer really Unix, right now. Linux, or Windows, and because so WannaCry is hitting they said Windows stop everything, right call now. all of our suppliers, and ask and them what the underlying so operating system is. They said stop everything, call all of our suppliers, and call them ask, up, them ask them what the answers underlying all the suppliers. operating system is. One of the suppliers says, yes, we're absolutely Call running up, Linux. Ask them, absolutely, all the no doubt about that. One of the suppliers says, yes, we're absolutely running the Linux. Linux. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Windows. 100% it remained unpatched and could be be connected to the network Windows. and became vulnerable. Windows, and ended up, uh, it remained unpatched and being uh, be being attacked to the network actually shutting those became devices vulnerable down and ended up, hospital. Uh, that is a live being, uh, critical device that was composed because the manufacturer themselves couldn't give that it was composed because what the manufacturer what operating system couldn't give an honest answer about what uh, software, and, and you'll what see this time and again. That's that's a pretty wrong. extreme example. But uh, and, and uh, you'll software see this time and again. That's, time. that's a are you vulnerable to this time? But, uh, uh, software vendors get asked all are you the time. To are you vulnerable this to this exploit top in uh, uh, LibTiff? Are you vulnerable to and this exploit in uh, live they have a team that's going to go evaluate uh, and, and have this software. Frequently, if so, are we using it? They have a team that's going to go evaluate. Do we even have and the software? And then they'll provide an answer. If so, are but we using it in a way that our, can be exploited? Uh, and then they'll provide an answer. What is our but assurance what's that, our, that vulnerable software uh, isn't there? 
and what's our frankly, we're, we're at that, a point where that mobile software is there, and frankly, we're at the point where we're at the mercy of the software. So, software 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 uh, the government cares a lot so, about that. So, uh, I talked a little bit about high insurance uh, sourcing. Doing uh, the government cares a lot about that because they don't want other uh, governments. Uh, generally, uh, security folks want to know, hey, there's uh, vulnerabilities coming out every day. Uh, I don't care about know, most of them because hey, I'm not running most of that software. But I'm running out every day. Inventory. I don't care about most of them because I'm not running most of that software. But I want uh, to be able to run an online network that I may have to see what software is there to control for. And then, frankly, you may have to evaluate the quality of your components in a product. And then, frankly, you may want to evaluate if you received a bill of materials that told you that the person was trying to sell you software. Then, if you received a bill of materials that told you that the person that concerned was trying to sell you software, then included a five-year-old version. Maybe that's a differentiator between. Would that concern you? Should it concern you? One uses a maybe that's a differentiator and someone does not. Between vendors is. One uses up to date curated components and one does not. What's your opinion on System D is lovely in in theory. Um, system D is lovely in I have a lot of in theory um, around system D. I have so a from lot a theoretical of perspective, I really like the aims. I like the fact that we can D. verify. So from a theoretical from perspective, I really like the aims. The I like the fact that we can verify the integrity of what we're starting. From Boot um, all the way up the chain. I just wish the it had integrity of what we're starting that stage. Uh, 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 I just but I think you'll start seeing people to get to that um, stage, particularly process. if you're. Uh, but I think one you'll of start seeing um, uh, particularly if you're. Uh, you're uh, going to start one seeing places that require high hashes. Uh, you delivered this software to me. You're going to start seeing for the software hashes. Did you actually confirm what's the hash? The did you actually confirm all of the uh, did you actually confirm, that were there? Uh, and, and I don't know, did anyone did see the news about the Java the ecosystem uh, this week? There. And, and I don't know, did anyone see the uh, news about the Java ecosystem uh, this week? A published article on the 10th okay. that said uh, security uh, researcher, it is 2019 uh, article and we still have a lot of projects, said, a lot of open source uh, projects, big projects, and we still have uh, a lot of projects, a lot of open source projects, that are consuming projects, their Hadoop, open source dependencies uh, that they use Tomcat, to build their software products that are consuming over their open source dependencies that they and use to And that is more susceptible to a man in the middle attack uh, because and uh, that is no validation that you're actually in the middle attack uh, because and I personally think that it's probably uh, easier no to get credentials the, the uh, to publish and I personally that think that artifacts it's probably easier to get credentials to come up with a man in the middle uh, attack to publish but that artifacts the number of folks who are still consuming come up with a man in the middle over attack. HTTP but and the number of folks who are still consuming um, over HTTP the hashes of not their, checking of the uh, Dependencies that they're pulling the down hashes to verify that they are actually the, uh, uh, is trouble. That they're pulling and down to verify uh, this security they are researcher what they posited say they the idea that it's trouble. Uh, and uh, this security entire, researcher posited uh, the idea Java that you can, uh, because the Java ecosystem basically still relies heavily uh, on Java ecosystem. Uh, because the Java ecosystem basically still relies no heavily on validation, uh, uh, non your build tools. Just going out to wherever domain validation or, uh, from your DNS build tool tools. tells you to go to. Just going out to wherever your. Uh, I don't know that I agree with that particular security researcher in every sort of but given that entire chain. I don't know that I agree with that particular security researcher in everything, but you've got given that entire chain issues of trust with the chipset, and there's some got, attempts at solving that. Uh, issues of trust with the chipset, and there's some. And then bringing up like a known signed boot. kernel, so uh, that at least it's known. And then bringing to, uh, up a known signed uh, kernel, so that at least it's known, known to be to, uh, published by a uh, no good source. Or known to be published by a and uh, then no you're good source you're launching daemons that again have been signed with validation. And I think that you're is a long way that again have been signed a, a trusted chain. I think that is operates. a long way towards There's a lot of places a, uh, in there that chain even if you're saying this is trusted stuff. because I signed it, but I downloaded it. 
even if you're saying this is trusted yeah. because I signed it, validate but I downloaded so 50 could be dependencies. So, and I didn't uh, validate those if you want to take the, the extreme, could be an issue. Uh, so, the reality is, is that uh, we're not if you want to take the extreme, general uh, the reality is, is that so in some ways, we're not auditing compilers. If we trust our own build process, we're building then we sign software. it, and we so expect you to ways, trust it. Uh, if we trust our own build process, then we sign it and we expect you to trust it. Uh, it I think System D is an interesting tool set. Uh, I can't say I like it just because I, I think System D is an interesting tool set. I can't say I like it just because that was simple, really easy to work with. Kind of grew up on Sys5 and, and it seems like everything went around. That was simple, easy to work with. It becomes a lot more, uh, and a lot more complicated. It seems like everything went around. It just becomes a lot more. Uh, not that they don't have lofty goals uh, that are well thought out. Uh, not that they that don't have lofty goals on a lot of things. That are well thought out. Uh, Does that answer your question? Implementation okay. is pretty painful on a lot of things. Um, so let's talk about the roadblocks. Does that answer your question? Transparency. Okay. Um, a lot of folks um, don't want to so tell you what about open the source or third party the components they have in their um, software. A lot of folks don't want to tell you about the liability. Open source or third party components they have you in know their software what the impact the of licensing problems are. You know what the um, let me tell you about one. It's, it's the one that I cite for the most because A, it actually went to trial. It was it's actually the one that I cite the most because A, it actually went to trial. It was actually so we, we actually know the full range court. of impact. And uh, um, a kernel developer so we, we actually know the full range sued of impact. Best Buy and a number uh, of other stores. A kernel developer with a number of other dependencies. Best Buy and a number of other stores. Smart along TVs with who were made by a particular OEM in Asia. TV manufacturers because uh, smart TVs who were made by a particular OEM in Asia. In Asia. Uh, included some and, GPL code. Uh, because Best Buy and other retailers uh, were distributing the and, TVs and selling them. Uh, because were Best Buy and them. other retailers were distributing the TVs um, and selling them, they were essentially Thousands of this these TVs ended up being essentially uh, uh, seized. Thousands of these part of the TVs violation. ended up being so essentially So we're talking millions uh, of dollars because worth of inventory that had to go away. So we're talking millions uh, of dollars There were 15 defendants in this lawsuit. Each of the 15 had defendants to go away. ended up having to pay out. Uh, there were 15 defendants in this lawsuit. Each of the 15 defendants ended up having to pay out. Now, Best Buy had no because idea they each had a what hard was running on the copyright code. code. Now, Best Buy had no idea what code was running on the TV. But they were liable for it because they were distributing it. What code was running on the TV. And so this. But there were licensing liability scares a lot of folks. And if you um, look at the and so open this, source offices in this licensing most companies, liability scares they a lot are of built folks. around if you figuring look out at how to open source offices in most companies. Uh, licensing they are liability. built around figuring out how to uh, and so a lot this, of companies this, uh, because frankly liable. their developers don't know uh, what they're including. And so a lot of companies and a lot of them have a very because frankly their developers, their developers don't know what they're including. Developers and a lot of them have a very laissez-faire attitude as they want to. to letting the developers uh, include libraries There's not a lot of oversight and governance around they want to. what open source uh, uh, that matter, closed there's source. There's not a lot of oversight and governance around any given product. Open source so if I tell you all the things that I've got in my code, into is that open product. me up to legal liability? So if I is tell you all the things I've got in my code, you're including, does that open me up to legal liability? A full Linux kernel in there. And you're going to need to you're going to need to a full Linux kernel in there. Big chunk of code. And you're going to need to uh, you're going to need to release uh, obligations. A big chunk of code uh, to comply anyone with anyone been keeping up with uh, the VMware GPL, case? Uh, obligations. Uh, anyone been keeping up with the VMware case? Uh, it, it originated in Germany. It's a Hellwig case. They did so they. Uh, it, it originated ended up settling. in Germany. It's a Hellwig Pir case. Victory for each side. They VMware did. had to so shutter that product. They ended up so they no longer. Pir Victory uh, for have each side. Kernel in that VMware product. had to shutter, shutter that product. Anymore. So they no longer they had to agree to not uh, have the kernel in that product. But they, they did dismiss that product. Case. So. It, it was not a clear win on the GPL side, but it was a very but they did dismiss the case. So it was not a clear win on the GPL side, but it was a very expensive victory for VMware, um, uh, including and so you, know, you would consider that in the process. In many cases, um, that would be a win because and so you know you would consider that developer didn't come out on top. In many cases, but that would be a win because I don't think it's a win. The current developer didn't come out on top, but. It's, it's, uh, it's a wash at this. Another thing that 
is um, uh, it's a wash. We have a problem with when we're providing another thing um, that um, we have a problem with when things. we're providing. Um, what what's materials. the name for the Apache web server? It's, what do we call things? What what's the name of the distro? Apache web server? Depends upon where you're using it. Uh, so depends on distro. Casey, the depends upon where you're using it. Casey, uh, we have so twelve. Casey, the large group, group, open source work group at Casey, and uh, we have we're talking about you know, what's our what's our large most heavily used, and uh, we're talking about you know, what's our on if we're, what's our we most care about viability of this uh, open source, uh, what do we need system. to focus on, and what are the things we that care about viability of this, and the vast uh, majority of those companies, what are the things uh, that listed our business, HTTP, and the vast majority of those companies. Apache. Uh, listed Apache Web Server or HTTPD to Apache 2. Um, Apache we ended up with five different names. Apache Web Server or HTTPD to or the Apache Web Server. Um, we ended up with five different names. So from 12 companies. Want to go search for, for the Apache uh, Web Server? Do a string comparison. So determining if you want to go have search Apache for Web Server uh, and your product. Do a string comparison. That's a lot more difficult. Uh, determining if you have uh, especially the Apache if you go with the assumption that these. That becomes the a lot more difficult, so large, uh, especially if you go with the assumption that these bill of materials are going to be so large them to say, that you're going to okay, want to really bad readable. vulnerability in Tomcat, uh, I need to know if I'm going to be them to say, or hey, really bad vulnerability in Struts, I need to know if I'm going to be I need to find out all of the places that I have Struts, really bad vulnerability in Struts, I need to find out all of the places that I have Struts, Query that across the entire enterprise. Oh, I'm and so now I'm at software naming is a really hard problem um, because even amongst and so the groups that produce software naming is a really hard problem it. because even amongst um, the Blackberry groups that has produce software, uh, we can't agree with a product called UEM. Um, Blackberry has that's an acronym for something. Uh, uh, product but, called UEM. Uh, we sell and UEM. That's an acronym for something. We still have a substantial number uh, of people internally uh, and externally we sell UEM. UEM. Which was we still have a substantial server. number of people internally um, and externally who call it BEZ. And so which you may have UEM, what UEM uh, extends to BEZ, BlackBerry Enterprise Server. And so you may have names, UEM, what UEM extends to BEZ, BlackBerry Enterprise Server. Software product. Four names How do you tell for, you're a single, um, for a single software product. How do you tell if you're running that in your environment? So it was supposed to be CPE, right? CPE has been declared. So it was supposed to be CPE, and nobody yes. is trying anymore. CPE so has been declared. So there was an attempt, to be um, it kind of and nobody is trying failed. anymore. Uh, so there was an attempt. The NTIA um, working groups actually have talked a lot about failed. CPE. Uh, as, the uh, NTIA uh, working groups actually have talked a lot about CPE. With, uh, as a list of what uh, software you know, is there. But of coming up the with industry has largely uh, given up on it. And NIST has made it itself. But uh, as the industry has largely so, given up on it. And NIST has abandoned it itself uh, as a standard. So, so even as right. software developers. That, that normalization no is a problem, right? Uh, and right. That, that normalization is a problem. Inject right? aliases? Uh, How do you know about all of the aliases? Do you maintain We've talked about, aliases? do you inject do aliases? Just this do list you know about all the aliases? Do you maintain uh, all the aliases? And make some library up. Do we have just There's been a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, and we make some library up. Solving that problem. And there's been a lot of, very much still a lot of, uh, problem. If you want to, on solving that problem. That is very much still a huge problem. Because you can tell everybody what you have. If you want and to, they may not be searching for about the same have. thing. Because you can tell everybody and what you even have. Even within, and they may um, not be searching even for within the, the same thing. Especially in and open source. Even within, within the community of folks who um, are even producing within the, the software, they may call especially it Especially in open source. Even within inside the community of folks who are producing uh, the have, they may call it something. We don't have a good normalization tool. And we don't have. We don't have a good normalization uh, tool or process. There's a lot of folks, especially in the software industry, especially who uh, sell software, who are very there's worried. There's a lot of folks, especially in the software industry, have open SSL, especially who sell software, every time who are SSL, very worried about that. Out. If I tell you that I have open SSL, hey, we saw this every time CD, SSL bug can you tell us out, how vulnerable you are? They're going to be saying, hey, which then creates a lot we saw this CD, uh, can you tell us how vulnerable you are? Because there is a difference between 
because you've got being, to go having a vulnerable library and, and having an because there is a library. difference between uh, anybody know how being many having a vulnerable library, library and having an exploitable library. Uh, it's mid four fifties. I think it's six thousand ish. Uh, it's um, mid. How many are so vulnerable with Hardly? I think it's six thousand ish. Uh, how many are vulnerable? Yeah, very commonly, but one. Uh, so. One. Uh, uh, very common, you, know, you could theoretically be using uh, so the vulnerable Heartbleed version uh, of MSSL. You, know, you could theoretically be using the vulnerable Heartbleed uh, version of MSSL. And still random be number generator or doing some of the other uh, uh, calls that aren't in their path. random number generator or uh, some of the other. And so there is a uh, calls that aren't um, in that critical significant path. concern about uh, people. And so there is uh, a creating more work for themselves by telling about what software they are. Uh, essentially creating there's also a, and, and I don't think this is a real robust, there's a number of folks who say if you tell there's people There's also a, and, and I don't think this is a real they'll know what to there's correct. a number of folks who say if you tell people what's in the software, I personally think then they'll that's know what to do that people are trying to chase that uh, and themselves from having I personally work. think that that's a because we red talk about exploits all the time. Chase and, uh, and if you think that the people who work. are out because we talk about exploits all the time, and if you think that the people who are don't have the same kind of exploits and trying to access tools like pathology and don't have the same kind of tools, uh, black access duck, to tools like Pathology, and, synopsis, and uh, it's trivial for them to get a uh, black subscription duck, to those tools and, synopsis, and scan and come up with it. It's trivial for them to get a subscription to those process. tools and, and scan deluding and come up with it because you're not you're telling anyone them do the work a more secure the process. And deluding um, yourself there's that also you're not telling anyone you're a little bit this concern about you know, if people know um, what there's we're also actually building this with. They may lose faith. Uh, if people know the fact that we're using we're this thing that was cool system, 10 years ago, they may lose faith. Well, that's a dead body for us. The Maybe fact that we're using this thing that was cool 10 years ago, but it's going to cost well, too much to migrate. Maybe we uh, and so there's there's a real concern from a sales side. It's going to cost too much to migrate. And so there's there's a real concern from all the bad things about your software. That you're disclosing all the dead bodies and now everyone's going to Yes, sir. All the bad things about your software. Yes, sir. So we're basic. My my industry is using the argument that it's just too hard. No. Do you think Johnson and Johnson? But I think that there's probably that a much church? stronger threat. Of, no. Uh, but I think that there's probably of regulation a much stronger and threat liability of, that the software industry uh, has escaped thus far. Of regulation and liability that the software industry has escaped thus far. And a plane crashing with 200 people is not a significant impact. Uh, yes, I, I, tell me about the, the impact of Equifax. On the and is Equifax is still... Uh, yes, is still I, still tell me about the, the impact of Equifax. Uh, and uh, Equifax is still going strong. There's still actually... Uh, not advocating for this, uh, but there is... The there's school actually thought that if you can weather the first six months of this, a day but breach, there is that the school will thought that if you can weather the first six months of a day uh, breach, better or worse, that that seems to be the case with and most of the. I mean, frankly, we have this mentality that frankly we have this you burned once, um, you're gonna mentality. Be that as a matter of fact, Home Depot you were actually once, went to the point of so advertising essentially the uh, fact. As a matter of fact, Home yes, Depot all your credit cards were compromised by lack of security, but we fixed all of that. You're yes, okay now. All of your credit cards were compromised and by lack of security, but we fixed all of that. You're okay and now. Frankly, you can trust Depot's us. doing better than they have and, ever done. Uh, they're making and more money now than before. They're huge credit card debt before. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think you'll find that most of the credit places card that have breach. suffered uh, uh, large state breaches. As a matter of fact, I think you'll find that most of the places that have suffered which is uh, large state breaches, breaches largely haven't gone we out We appear business. to be rewarding bad behavior, uh, even if it's which interpersonally is surprising. rewarding. And because we believe, you know what, now that they've been compromised, uh, they brought in all of these external experts, they have the FBI involved, things are going to be so much better, and that is the least likely place. Things are going to be so much better, and that is the least likely place. And so I, I skipped over inventory format, and I want to talk about 
that. Uh, and so bit. I, I skipped yeah. over inventory uh, format. So and I want to talk inventory about formats and that, uh, a little bit. Uh, I mentioned CP earlier, so, and that was yeah. originally inventory going to solve a, problem. a lot of the problems. Uh, I mentioned CP earlier, and that was originally was going to solve a lot of the problems around naming and knowing what software was there. Uh, and CPE failed. I would argue that probably the best issue. tools for inventory today are. Uh, I would argue that probably um, the best tools for inventory today uh, are RPM and Dell. They're the most mature, Deep but unfortunately they only work on um, Linux distributions, and they only work uh, on one Linux distribution. They're the most mature, but unfortunately so they only work on Linux when we talk about trying to describe on one Linux distribution. Um, uh, so what, when uh, we talk about what trying elements to describe are in your software, what components are in your um, software, what, uh, the what elements are in your software, today what components are in your are software, SPDX, which is the an open source format or SPDX, uh, which at the is Linux Foundation. an open source uh, format. SWIFT, which is uh, a proprietary uh, ISO standard that you have to pay to get access uh, to. SWIFT, which is um, a proprietary both ISO standard that you have to pay to get access to. to solve the software um, transparency problem. Both of those were so not SPDX was to built solve all around license the software transparency so problem. So that you could describe so what SPDX license was built all around the selection of dependencies so that, that you can describe and what you license can figure out the audit based upon the that. Matter of fact, SPDX's initial and claim to fame is that they, that they had a canonical fact, list of licenses. SPDX's initial claim to fame is that they had a canonical list of licenses. SWIFT, on the other hand, was developed around license on the other hand, for proprietary software. Uh, was so we can describe developed what you around license this software you have re-entitled so we can fact, describe the, that you have uh, ISO standard that defines SWIFT tags. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the ISO standard that uh, uh, defines right SWIFT right tags, after, the ISO standard uh, uh, either proceeds or follows it is about uh, software right 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 after, but the ISO basically those two dovetails to figure out what software you have about software and titles to actually use. And basically those two dovetails so that you can figure out what software, software you have and what software so you're So neither of those are purpose built. To use in that software. There's also a group so that seems to align with this is a terrible name. And there's also a group that seems to like this is a terrible name. Never follow this and, example. And if you have a uh, they have called their format Perl, which makes never it follow impossible this for you to. Uh, they have called their format uh, Perl to go Google which about. Makes it impossible but uh, it's P U R L. Uh, and to the problem with out. that is but, uh, it's there's only two elements that are required. And the problem with that is a Perl. There's only two elements that are required for listing. For, uh, and one of those is Perl. Perl. And the other is location with you on it. A Perl okay, list. So it is and not complete enough to actually describe what version you have, what patch set you have, so or any of the other things that you might care about. Or any of the other things um, that you might care about. So in terms that's of, a uh, that's a growing problem because um, I would argue SPDX so has that's a, that's a growing problem close to a hundred different I would argue SPDX has in um, an SPDX close to description of a single different component elements that you can include within your software. And uh, not all of those are mandatory, some of those are optional. Within uh, your software. SWIFT. Uh, not all of those are mandatory, some of those are optional. Complex, and there's also a distaste uh, because it's not an open standard, so you open source. Similarly, it doesn't seem to like that at all. Because it's not an open standard, so you open source have no problem with it. Community doesn't seem to like and that. And so you've got all of these different ways of, even if you decide that. And so you've got all of these different ways of, the right even if you decide to do it, that creating a all of these bill of materials today, is the right thing to do and um, want to do it, formats you've got for storing this data that are today, not interchangeable. Um, uh, to their credit, both SWIFT and SPDX are working on that interconnectivity that layers. Uh, so that to their credit, both SWIFT and SPDX are working on and it will automatically translate layers. So that you can um, but throw SPDX and it's not a one-to-one. -one. It will automatically translate every single element out of either um, side. But uh, so there is some it's data not a one-to-one, -one, and you're not getting uh, every single element out of either side. And frankly, neither uh, so there is some data built lost there for providing. Uh, and frankly, neither of these were purpose-built. Measure for providing, of uh, providing some inventory. Measure of they, they weren't. Uh, these weren't built around it. They're not purpose-built for that. 
I do see some folks uh, uh, murmuring about creating a separate ISO standard. I do see some folks uh, murmuring about creating a separate ISO standard that is designed around building materials for software. So, but even if you decide we want our software to be transparent, uh, we want so to even if you decide uh, we want our software to be want transparent, to be able to tell everyone we what's want there to and what they need. Um, uh, we want to be able to tell everyone you have what's to there pick one side and or the what other they need for your uh, inventory format, and that may not be the format. Pick one side or the other for your. I, that, I think that is still format, very much undecided. That may not be the format for the I do think this problem uh, statement. Uh, that, I think that is still uh, very this much. This came out of the NTIA, one of the I NTIA do think this problem statement, software transparency. Uh, and this uh, came out I of the NTIA, interesting one of the NTIA working statement. groups on software transparency. Uh, and basically, it's uh, modern software a systems involve increasingly statement. complex and dynamic uh, supply chains. And basically, chains. it's modern software systems Lack of systemic transparency in the composition and, and functionality of these systems contributes substantially to cybersecurity risks, as well as the cost of development. Contributes substantially to cybersecurity risks. In our increasingly interconnected world, risk and cost impact not only individuals in our increasingly interconnected world, but also collective goods like cost impact not only individuals and organizations directly. This is also the problem statement that NTIA's working group on software transparency is trying to tackle. I think that's an interesting way of trying to improve on software transparency. Is trying um, to I will and also, I, I probably should have warned you when we went into this. I'm a pessimist, um, and so I think I will also, and I probably should have warned you when we went into this. I think there are a I'm lot a of problems. I'm, I'm happy to talk so about think, all the problems. Um, there's, there's some folks doing I, interesting I think work, there are a lot of problems. Um, I'm but happy I think to talk about if you all care about software there's, transparency, there's some folks doing interesting out work. This problem, um, but I think there are if you care about software transparency, you are figuring out. This um, problem, producer of software, there are three things write that you open do. source software, if you are a write software uh, producer a of software, um, you write open source software, you write software at a company. Uh, if you're using um, a modern language, figure out how you can and produce and a building I will even define Java as uh, modern. If you're using you're a modern language, you're probably getting all your dependencies from a package Java or an artifact modern. repository. You're probably getting all your dependencies from um, so a Package manager or an artifact is actually plugins for most of the uh, build so, tools. so if you're using Maven, it's not a stretch. It's actually plugins for most of the build tools. Uh, there's so also a tool Maven, that will produce. There's a tool that will produce uh, with build materials. Uh, there's also a tool that uh, so will produce. So if you're SPDX, producing software, uh, produce a materials. build of material. Figure out how you would do that. Uh, so and if then you're producing software, for that, produce a build of material. Figure out how if you're on the procurement side. I'll start that asking as the folks who provide your If you're on the procurement side, I start asking the folks who provide your vendors, your provide your uh, vendors ask for a bill of materials. Do you have a bill of materials you can provide for? I guarantee you can't do it. Uh, uh, but one of the ask folks uh, who's in the healthcare working group with this NTIA effort uh, uh, One of the folks uh, who's in the healthcare working group with this NTIA effort uh, has basically is, said that he's using this as uh, uh, leverage has, in his negotiations for purchase. Has basically said support. that he's using this as and that he can tell uh, a lot about the his maturity of their software, software development support. process. And that they he can, can tell a lot about the maturity of their software development process. And, process. Not. and if they can immediately hand over a bill of materials, use that, hey, you guys don't versus aren't not. even able to use what's in your software. He will immediately um, use that. Hey, you guys there's don't clearly a aren't even able problem to use what's in your software. Uh, so there's clearly a maintenance. You're probably not going to get uh, a lot of immediate traction. Uh, so if you're in a place to be asked, you're probably for that not going to get uh, of a lot of immediate traction. Nice but if you're in a place to be asked, to do that as part of, do that. You know, one of the requirements um, or one of the nice NTIA has four working role. groups right now. Please do that. Uh, they just um, NTIA has four working proof groups right now. Uh, they just has hardware that they have to document proof of concept and software they a medical that device documented that has hardware that they have to document um, and software because they all the medical devices are now all connected and there's um, the software is more because important all the medical device devices are now all connected it and there's. Uh, the software so is more important than the physical device. Uh, some of the forcing operates. functions there are, the FDA uh, has said that they so, need to regulate and require uh, Some of the forcing the functions there are, the FDA has said that they need to regulate and require the materials. Uh, so they, they were actually going through this process to figure out how they would actually comply with 
proposed regulation and provide uh, hopefully then how use the rest that of the to, software industry um, could do the same thing. Provide, uh, but you can come participate. The there are uh, everything from folks the who are thing. framing the problem. Uh, but you can come about the there are, they would like uh, building materials. Everything to solve from folks who are framing the problem. Uh, and talking and about the problems have they would like from, building materials to solve uh, for them. Everything from uh, the military and intelligence and community you have folks who from desperately about uh, how do we actually care about what's running. The military and intelligence from, community and that it's not care malicious desperately us. about how do we actually we verify what's running, audit where it came from, and, from and, and that it's not malicious to us. They're running in To the folks who just want to be uh, able to so audit the There's a link to the software transparency multi-stakeholder uh, so process there. There's a link uh, they to have uh, the software right. transparency there are calls going on right now process there. for that work uh, for some of the work groups. They have calls, as a matter of fact, there are calls going on right now um, for, that work, for some of those working groups. groups. They typically meet on Friday yeah. afternoon. Um, calls are open. I'm at five minutes, five, 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 five minutes till five. Are there any questions? I to do that. Have I put anyone? I'm at five minutes till five. Someone's asleep. You've got Sharpies. Have I put anyone to sleep? If okay. someone's asleep, we've got Sharpies. Sure. Okay. One, one sure. You say you're a pessimist, but what are the optimistic things that are happening? What, what, where can we push for the best Where you can push for the best question. momentum is probably in the in finance. Where you can push for uh, the best momentum places that are probably going to be in regulated. Finance, uh, are regulated, so stop uh, driving off places that are going to be uh, the aviation regulated, industry uh, are, are regulated, um, so self driving automobiles, uh, medical devices, uh, the aviation those industry places industry. are making the most progress um, towards figuring uh, out medical the devices. Work. Those if places were, are making the most progress towards figuring out bill of materials. If so I would need help, that's where to look. Healthcare providers, not the suppliers, but the providers. Um, have a lot of leverage because those systems are very complicated and very expensive, but they're also reasonably competitive. Um, and they can articulate liability and so are sensitive to liability. We're in the finance field, so we're so, we're you know, so if, if I were if I were in the finance field, I would so be having a conversation. Really, you know, if, if, I were, and say, if I were hey, in the finance field, this is coming, I would be having a conversation uh, with my procurement The folks, New York Cybersecurity say, Act, hey, in particular, this is coming, and a lot of finance places uh, have. The New York uh, Cybersecurity Act, in, New York, in particular, so affects and, them. And a lot of finance places uh, have is um, a big presence in New York. Is about so as close them, as we have today uh, to legislation that mandates uh, auditing of what you have. Is about as close as we have today to legislation that mandates. Uh, auditing of what you have. Um, Issue of internal yeah. developers also demand it, it's too hard is not a valid answer. No, that's that's one of the that, that's one like that's a whole other piece. <laughs> we're encouraging that already. Right. We just want to make sure that whatever ends up being. So the I, I gave a talk kind of at a security conference in Hawaii the about the problem direction. with the format so issue. So I, I gave a talk at a basically an hour saying in Hawaii about the, the format the problem format is issue basically makes a lot of this a lot I am pessimistic on that aspect. The format problem is however makes a lot of this a non-starter. The caveat is the, 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 the optimistic side of this is how build a system that can generate the caveat is the the optimistic side of this is. If you built a system Switch that can generate SWIFT tags or SPDX, um, that's not the heavy format. Lift. Heavy lift is not, not translating dependencies uh, into a format. That's not the heavy lift. The heavy lift is heavy lift figuring is out what all of your dependencies are, dependencies being able to format. articulate what they the are. The heavy lift is figuring out what all of your dependencies are, being able to articulate what they are, where they came from. Maybe you're declaring determining if your developers can have modified and you need to call them out or not. Determining uh, if that's your developers the big lift. In-house big lift is not shoving it into a format, uh, but the format. That's the big lift. Until big lift is not shoving it into a format. We've got this but the formats, Babel, Tower of Babel problem where we one, can't speak the same language um, to each other. We've got this, but like translating Babel, Tower of Babel problem where we can't speak the same minimize. language to each other. Translating is a big but problem. Translating, but translating, if you're generating it already, I want to deciding that you're going to generate translating is a big problem. JSON but versus YAML, if you're generating it already. Deciding that you're going to generate it uh, in XML in JSON versus YAML, uh, or that is, that's um, not the hard problem, right? Uh, in XML, yeah, generating, generating, uh, you, 
that's, that's once, once you've problem. got the data, yeah. it's yeah. not going out. Generally, 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 no problem. Once, well, once well. you've got the data, no problem. It's not going out. The format you want, no yes. problem. Oh, well. The getting the data, no getting the data is <laughs> sensible, yes. well curated the format. Getting the data is, getting the data is a big problem. A Particularly if you're well doing something that predates Java is, is or predates Python. Particularly Pearl. if you're doing something that predates Java see people manage or predates dependencies. Python or Perl. If you're doing C, I don't see people Think about manage that. dependencies. That, that's exactly right. You use the system libraries and you assume that the use there in path was fine. That, that's exactly right. 